Okay, welcome to the Heart of Destiny 2 Perks in Depth. In this episode, we'll be looking at Dynamic Sway Reduction versus Under Pressure. These two perks have been staple perks for weapons like auto rifles in Destiny 2 for a long time, but what do they even really do? Are they actually any good? And which is generally better? First, let's look at Dynamic Sway Reduction. This perk states that it improves the weapon's accuracy over time. Let's see if that actually is what it does and how strong that effect is. The benefits of this perk are easy to activate, simply fire your weapon at its maximum rate of fire and it will take effect quickly, only requiring up to 8 shots to enter full strength. As you fire, the game's bloom system will take effect reducing the accuracy, while at the same time this perk will also take effect improving the accuracy. DSR's effect starts out weak, so when hip firing you may see the weapon's fire start to spread for just a moment and then reduce again as DSR strengthens. If you're grounded, DSR will rapidly improve accuracy until the weapon reaches its maximum accuracy and cannot become any more accurate. When airborne, the perk does have a limit to how much it can do. On an auto rifle, it won't reach max accuracy without help from other perks, although on an SMG, it likely will. This perk activates immediately upon firing. Full strength is reached after 5 to 8 shots are fired, depending on the weapon and its perks. When grounded, it maxes out accuracy, while airborne, it maxes out accuracy or improves it by 55-60%, to 60 whichever comes first. This perk is a must-have for any auto rifle or SMG if you ever hip fire, fire while airborne, or fire the weapon at a fairly long distance. This perk will allow you to hip fire your auto rifle like an SMG or sidearm, and allow your SMG to maintain perfect accuracy no matter what you do. It will allow you to use your auto effectively while airborne. Without this perk, your auto rifle will be largely useless when hip fired and highly inaccurate while airborne. At longer ranges, you will need to have a good stability on your weapon to notice the benefits of this perk, but given that you do, you will find that the perk improves the weapon's consistency quite noticeably. This perk is absolutely top tier and may even be the very best perk for any auto rifle available. Alright, under pressure now. This perk states that it improves both accuracy and stability for the bottom end of the magazine. That's definitely what it does, but how strong is this effect? Once you reach half of the magazine, this perk will activate, improving your accuracy by a little, and as you get closer to the bottom of the mag, this will increase becoming quite significant by the last few rounds. At the same time, you will get a very slight stability increase that will become much more significant by the last few rounds of the magazine. This perk activates at half mag and scales up as the mag empties. Initial activation at one half mag improves accuracy by 25%. At full effect, it improves accuracy by 50%. Initial activation at one half magazine begins the stability increase, which starts at zero. At full effect, it increases stability by about 20 points. This is equal to about 20% less recoil for most SMGs, and usually about 15-17% to for most auto rifles. This perk is good, although not nearly as good as I thought it would be. I went to this with low expectations and dynamic sway reduction kind of blew them completely out of the water. So looking at it under pressure now, I can't help but be a little disappointed. Anyway, let's have a look at this uh, seriously. With under pressure you have the ability, if you so choose to fire, and stop, and then continue again, and the bonus will maintain as long as you are below half the weapon's magazine. No spin up required. The drawbacks with this perk is that 1. You will need to empty your mag, whether through pre-fire or moving from one target to another to benefit from the perk, and 2. That the only benefit you'll likely see often is a small to moderate accuracy increase. Yes, it does have a stability and greater accuracy increase, but very few rounds of the magazine will actually get to benefit significantly from that. Say you have a 40 round magazine. The only rounds in that magazine that will have noticeably less recoil will be the last five. So which is better? Guess I said it already, yeah it's dynamic sway reduction. In my opinion, under pressure does not compare whatsoever. These perks are both pretty reliable, but DSR's accessibility in the way that it only takes a few moments to get spun up at any time paired with the strength of its accuracy creates a level of reliability in your weapon that no other perk can even match. What do you think? Do you love dynamic sway reduction as much as I do? Thanks for watching. Please subscribe. Follow me on Twitter as well, at TheMonks. 
and I'll see you guys in the next episode. Adios. Fight on just the same. Enemy team is out of lives. Topple them. Yeah. <laughs>